Monarch butterflies are one of the most recognizable species of butterfly in all of North America. Adult monarch butterflies possess two pairs of brilliant orange-red wings with black veins and white spots along the edges. They are one of the few butterflies which actually migrate from one place to another, and their migratory path is fascinating. They migrate or travel between 1,200 miles and 2,800 miles, even more to their wintering spots in Mexico or Southern California. Once they arrive at their destinations, they hibernate in mountain forests. Their journey begins when a monarch butterfly lays its eggs on a milkweed plant, which is known as a host plant. After three to five days, the eggs hatch into caterpillars which feed exclusively on milkweed. They gorge themselves on the leaves of the milkweed which contain chemicals that make them taste really bad to potential predators. They spend two to three weeks feeding this way and grow rapidly. The caterpillars are striped with yellow, black, and white bands and they have two sets of antenna-like tentacles at each end of their bodies. They reach about two inches in length before spinning their bright green chrysalises. When the caterpillar is big enough, it attaches a little pad of silk to the underside of a sturdy surface, hangs upside down, curls its head up, and waits. After several hours, the skin splits and drops off, revealing a green chrysalis. Once the chrysalis is completely formed, digestive fluids break down the caterpillar's cells and tissues so that it can become a butterfly.
After about two weeks, the chrysalis darkens and you can sometimes see the colors of the wings. The chrysalis then cracks and the butterfly pushes itself out. As the butterfly emerges, you will notice that its abdomen is really big. That's because it is filled with fluid. Once the butterfly is completely out of the chrysalis, the fluid is pumped into its wings. As the fluid enters the veins of the wings, the wings expand. Thank you.